Hi there, my name is Thomas McGee. I'm a technical sales specialist here at Optical Networks. And today I'm just gonna show you some of the basics of our Visual Backnet product. So when we log into our Visual Backnet product, you can see that we have both troubleshooting and monitoring. Depending on which one you have your license for, you can click the star here to make sure that when you log in, you'll always be brought to the correct page. Um, when uploading a file, very simply from the troubleshooting, we can either have our capture tool and we can associate that so it automatically uploads and we'll have many documentation on that that you can contact us for or find on our Zendesk. Or we can also just drag and drop a file or click upload files here. Dragging and dropping will also work. File will then upload, process, and you'll be able to uh, see the file just as we see these files here with our health score. We can go in and view them further. I'll go in now and I'll actually just view one of our files and we have a demo file here. Um, when we go in and view a file, you'll see that we have the health score, we have the availability to download that file, share it by, by email, or view the file as well. When going in to view a file, you'll see that we have the health score here, and then we have our diagnostic checks down the side. These checks are the ones that we're really going to be catching and flagging the issues, and they're going to show us what sort of things we need to work on, what we need to improve on. Each of these checks will have a little bit of an explanation into what it is, how we resolve the issue, why the issue is flagged, and so on. Circular networks in this example is a circular network in a system. It occurs when we have the hop count drop below 10. As we get some more protocol explanation, we see that the hop count starts at 255, and then it's decremented by one as it goes through a backnet router. We can then have the table showing us where we have flagged issues with this, possible uh, to circular networks, and we'll see them in the table below. So every, every check is gonna have a bit of an explanation as to why we flagged it, what the issue is and how we should fix it to make sure that you guys are in the best position to be set to actually resolve this without having to go doing too much external research. When we come in as well, we're able to see the stats on this packet, the data, the average packet rate, um, the breakdown of non-backnet, backnet and backnet broadcast packets. We can see the networks observed, the devices observed and our traffic rates. You'll also see that we have the availability to our left-hand side here for a number of different browsers or so such as our BACnet browser here. And this BACnet browser allows us to graph all this information from source, destination, service choice, PDU type, and all of these different ways we can graph this information. Um, it doesn't have to be source to destination service choice. We can go service choice, and then we can go vendor, and then we can go source. We can click on any of these as you want. But from there, we can build up a different image displaying graph this information in a number of ways to give us the best chance of maybe spotting or catching something that is a bit of an anomaly. As we go back then into our um, monitoring or so, so this is clicking into a file, and that's how we get into it from the troubleshooting. The monitoring now has a bit more features, and when we are using our monitoring, our monitoring not only has the availability to go in and investigate what's happening in a PCAP file, but it also allows us to recognize that when we're uploading our PCAP files from the same location on a site, that we can then begin trend logging. We can compare and contrast the new PCAP file against the old ones and see if the health score has dropped and if we need to send alerts or we need to notify you. So the monitoring will have a bit of um, extra features that allow us to keep, as you say, some form of real-time alerts in our system. As you see here, when in our monitoring, we'll have created our sites. We can then break them down into our buildings, our organizations, our campuses, or wherever we want. And we'll just keep dropping these all down until we see some nodes here and our monitoring nodes. And a monitoring node is representatory of a capture tool on site. When we click on a node, we can use this tool here and our API key to enter that into our capture tool so that it will automatically upload to our monitoring node. And we can have just consistent on the hour, every hour uploads occurring, to make sure we're getting notified as soon as something happens. Um, you can see here as well, we have in our monitoring, one of the features that is available to us because we have this um, kind of accumulative data, seeing as we know these points are, or these captures are all coming from one point on site. We are then able to actually accumulate the data we see in these PCAP files, see how many devices are observed, how many networks are observed. We can see our device lists. Um, we can also see our health score trend logging over time. We'll be able to see our number of devices that have been captured. And we can give these aliases as well. If you, um, we can, when we give an alias to a device, we then won't have to apply it to the next PCAP or the PCAP after that. Those aliases will remain as long as the devices don't change or we don't change the ID on any of those devices. We can share our sites by putting in an email here, share that with whoever we want. 
please note that you must click on the branch or the site to share a site. If you click on the node and click share, you will just share the node. We have the availability for alerts. We can have here, that's my email, if you ever do you need to contact me at support or so. And we can enter this, allowing us to have site health alerts if, the, um, if we happen to drop below a certain threshold, if we happen to have our health score changed by a certain amount, or if we happen to not get uploads in a certain amount of time. We can be alerted to all of these, and make sure that we're having consistent uploads of our data, and really as soon as anything occurs, we're notified to it. We can also just get some weekly, monthly, daily digests as well of everything occurring on our network. Um, we do have our diagnostics page as well, where we can disable some of these alerts. Thank you very much for just watching this video. If you have any other questions at all on anything we've covered here, um, please do ask, um, you can use the support to contact us. You can either email us at support at optigo.net, or else you can actually contact us to set up a meeting and we can go through a bit more of an in-depth demo. We can uh, use one of your PCAP files and analyze that together. So you can really see the value when we go through some of, um, just go through the PCAP and identify some of the issues specific to your, your, your own sites. Thank you very much for the time. I appreciate your uh, watching the video and um, have a nice day. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out more videos here and here and subscribe up here.